Hey everybody, today I want to talk to you about cash, bringing your cash to the Philippines. So I hope you like this video and subscribe to my channel. Um, when you bring cash here, you're allowed to bring up to 10,000 USD with you on the plane. You bring that through customs. Uh, before you leave the States, make sure the bills are all $100 bills. And if you have to break it down, get 20s. Have them all be brand new. Get them as new and as crisp and as flat as possible. You don't want to have any big creases in it. You don't want to have any torn corners. You know, when you fold your money over and in the, in the center where the crease is, it gets a little, uh, a little rip. Uh, they won't accept that at the money exchangers uh, on the street or even in the bank if you don't have an account. So make sure your money is clean, crisp, new, no writing on there, no God bless America, no, you know, any kind of pencil mark, pen mark. All these are not acceptable and they won't, they won't accept those bills. Uh, when you come into the Philippines, especially at the airport in Manila, uh, you're going to have U.S. money. Uh, after you're done with your customs and, and immigration and everything, you go right outside the, the door and you ask one of the security guys where a money exchanger is. There I would exchange about 200 USD in the pesos. Uh, they give you a fair exchange rate. It is the, it is the airport. I don't know what the rate is. Uh, when I came in, I got uh, 50 pesos to the dollar, and I think the exchange rate at the time was uh, 51. So uh, it is what it is at the airport. When you get to your final destination and you, you get all checked in and you have, you have all this cash with you, and remember, I'm a big uh, believer in you bringing cash, bringing your startup funds with you. You're going to need money for um, your initial... Uh, rent when you find an apartment and your deposit. You're going to need money to buy a motorcycle if, if you so desire or a car. Um, when you get into your new house or your new apartment, there's things you're going to want to buy. The first thing I would buy is always a new mattress. If it's a used mattress, um, that's just me. Everybody's different. I'm not telling anybody what they should do, but um, you're going to want to buy things. You're always going to find, oh, this coffee pot uh, I need a new coffee pot here, or I need a different kind of frying pan, depending on your needs, your wants. Do you cook or you don't cook? So you're going to need your startup money, and that's not your budget money. I'll go over that again and again later, but your startup money is the lump sum of money you bring with you to get situated here in the Philippines to buy your motorcycle, to buy anything that you normally won't spend on a month-to-month -month basis. Now, back to the money. When you go to these money exchangers, uh, here in Dumaguete, you have uh, Palawan, Pawn Shop, uh, a few others. You can also exchange them at the bank. Uh, the banks will exchange them. I usually do, when I first got here, I do $1,000 at a time. And... You go in there, they take your money, they want your ID, they want your, your, your passport. Uh, they're going to they're gonna verify who you are. They're going to fill out a form, and they're going to put the serial number of every bill you give them on this form, and then you're going to have to sign it at the end. They're going to check over every bill. It's going to be uh, meticulous how they look for any rips, any little creases in the wrong spot. Uh, any kind of writing on the bill, any kind of defacing of the bill, they're, they're not going to accept it. They're going to hand it back to you, and you're going to have to replace it with a different bill or just have a bill less to exchange. I found that I had about $1,000 worth of bills that weren't accepted at the money exchange places. And no matter where I went, those same bills were always rejected. So... Thinking you can go from one place to another with a bad bill uh, isn't going to work. 
the one place you can get rid of these bills is if you find a foreigner that's going back to the U.S., you can swap with them pesos for your bill. Or later on down the line, when you open a bank account and you have a bank account, they, they will accept these bills. They'll put a hold on this money while they, they run it through to make sure it's good. But you're going to get, it's your money. It's just going to be a hold on it for two weeks or a month, whatever they determine to put a hold on this money. And, um, and it's the same thing when you open an account. They're going to take a list of every bill you give them. They're going to write all the serial numbers down. You're going to have to wait for them to fill all that out. Be patient. You're going to have to sign the, at the bottom that you gave them these bills. And uh, just hope. Uh, nothing goes wrong with them. You're an honest person, so you're not trying to pass counterfeit money, so there, there'll be no problem. Uh, when I did mine and I had that roughly $1,000 worth of bills that had marks on them and tears, they just put a 14-day hold on it, and that was that. So when you come to the Philippines, bring clean money with you, brand new money, Make sure, Go to the bank, have no folds in it, don't have any of the old bills mixed in with it. You need new money, tell them, you, tell them at the bank you're traveling and you need good bills to transfer uh, to buy foreign currency when you get to your destination. I hope this video is helpful to you. And um, I want to thank everybody again for watching and until next time.